What is happening guys? Cowboy here and I'm back again with another video with this same damn shirt. You're probably wondering if I ever actually change. I do. In fact, it's just Saturday and I happen to be recording a lot. This has probably been one of the busiest recording days I've had in a while. Uh, we had the try treats thing, we had the satisfy review, and now, oh boy, boom, the super duper time collector's edition of We Happy Few. Let's get into unboxing this bitch. So, oh man, first off, the size on this thing, what an absolute unit. It's huge, okay, and it pops on open. So I think the best way to show this is going to be tilting the camera down like that. And then I can kind of just go through this. Actually, oh, I know. I'll put it on this. Yeah, there we go. So you can't really see it, but I'll be pulling stuff out of the box to show to you. So uh, Uncle Jack alarm clock. There's an alarm clock in this thing. We're going to look at that in a second. Um. There's a lot packed into this. Okay, so first we got a poster. Multiple posters. It's key art. Really on there, this binding. I guess they care. I would have been fine with them just using some rubber band or something. God. I've never tried so meticulously to free a poster. There we go. Whoo, man. Almost sliced my finger there. Wow. Okay, so we got three posters. Go. All right, first, we're just going to go through them one at a time. <laughs> These things are bundled up. First, we got this guy. Are you ready to behave and take your joy? I like that. These are really nice prints, actually. I'll need to get some... Um, Looks like it's 11 by 24, perhaps. Um, next, do Strawberry Joy. Ooh. If this, this is an awkward position, I'm sorry, but it's hard to keep this thing from just doing that. All right, and then a happy face means a happy place. Oh God! On, let me try that one again. If I can get my get it to stay. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Yeah, not bad, right? I really like the art on this, though. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to actually like get into this game. Um, and then what? I think this is an actual album, which while I do not have a, uh, a player, being that I live in Music City, I do have a number of friends. And it looks like there's a Steam code to download a digital version, and I'll be damned it is. Wow. Actual record. I even want to like take this out. That is cool. You know, that would look really trippy spinning around, too. Wow. You know what I'm playing at my next dinner party? Oh, get in there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is really cool. 
This is actually the only album I own. I don't I don't own any uh, you know, old school albums like this, so it's kind of cool to have one. When you're gone, out of the blue, brassed off, la la la, sunny day, zombie land, Georgia joy, dead chuffed, dead of winter, joy and a happy face, smiling crime. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Get the uh, enter that Steam code. All right. Um, what else is in the back here? I see some other stuff. How to be happy. A brief guide for citizens. And I think there's some stickers in this too. Yeah, limit joy to once per hour. Mateline, the fuel of the future. All pilots must report for the lubing twice weekly, and spankers keep you safe from downers. Pretty cool. Wellington Wells. Introduction by Uncle Jack. If you want to be happy, you're in the right place, because Wellington Wells is surely the happiest place on Earth. If you just do as everyone else does and take your joy, you'll have a splendid time. Color in Uncle Jack, history of Wellington Wells. Goes through a bunch of the different characters. Goes through the culture activities. This is really neat. The crossword puzzle in here. It's our it's a crossword puzzle that's already filled out. Many people enjoy puzzles as a way to fill in their spare time, but do crosswords make you cross when you can't figure out the answer? To prevent such unhappiness, the answers have been helpfully provided below. You merely need to trace the letters to complete the puzzle successfully. Congratulations, you are a crossword expert. Pat yourself on the back. Wow. Oh, yeah, a crossword puzzle that's filled out for us. <laughs> Action dolls. You can cut some things out. Notes on how to be happy. Sign your own paper doll outfits. Happiness helpers, correct behavior, and how to spot a downer. And then there's like a bunch of ads and it's like embossed on the cover. And like that's probably the best for the embossing on that. You can actually feel that. That's really cool. Oh man. Hype train hadn't quite left the station just yet, but... I like how even though like this isn't a separate package from this, everything is is. I feel that's important. Um, anytime you get like a collector's edition of stuff, that everything is packaged very nicely and and more so in a way that like like for example, if there was a leak in this, this was separately sealed. So like one thing being compromised doesn't compromise the rest of it. That's really nice to see. Um, so I think that side is empty my hand on down in there. Yep, I think so. All right. Whoa. All right, what do we have here? I ain't completely sure. Yeah, okay. That is it for the box. But we have this this thing. This massive thing that you see me holding. Taped on each side. Taped on the bottoms too? No. Man, the thing is. Ooh. Ooh, that is on there. Wow. Once again, good to see uh, proper packaging. That's cool. All 
How creepy is this? It's when you can't sleep at night, just imagine I'm sitting by your door. Just doing that. Honestly, I need I, I have a fat face. This mask is too skinny for my fat face. But this is gonna make a great Yeah, look at that. That will look great on my stuff mantle. I have a stuff mantle in my house. It's literally in like the middle of the living room. And it just has a collection of stuff, like cool stuff. And this is going to look fantastic on my stuff mantle. And then, what's this? You look smashing and an alarm clock. Oh, stop that tape. There we go. All right. So three AAA batteries, mode set. Oh, it's actually a functional alarm clock. I need to put batteries in it. I don't know, but I feel like this doesn't just work as an alarm clock. I feel like it's going to be like Uncle Jack being like, wake up for a happy day or some weird shit. So I will have to report back on the alarm clock. I like how low impact it is. The one thing I don't know is how do, how do you turn it off? Because, I mean, we have instructions here. No, literally, it features display mode, time when your alarm goes off the... Screen displays a small image of Uncle Jack and the text Time for Your Joy with a blue backlight. Um, mode and set. Button. Like I don't I wonder how you how do you turn off the alarm when it goes off though? Do I just like tap it? I don't know. I'll need to, to play with that more in depth and report back. And then that. Oh <laughs> yes, it lights up too. Three double A's, and it's just got a little on-off switch, so it just says, you look smashing bright lettering. That's really cool. Very, uh, very, like, 70s, 60s. I like that. Man. Oh, I'll put that away. Well, guys, that is probably one of the cooler boxes I've opened in a while. Um... I want to say I like how they did. They did a good mix of both uh, practical stuff as well as just like aesthetically pleasing stuff. Like you know, I have I have the posters, I have the book, but like I have something like this, which will look great as kind of like a mantelpiece. People be like, oh, that's cool. I have the alarm clock, something I can use. I have the mask, obviously that'll look really good set up. Um, but I also have like the book with like in-game notes and stuff. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of the stuff that was in that book is actually going to be pretty useful uh, when we dive into the game. So, you know, on that note, we, we are about uh, about two weeks out until our adventures in Wellington Wells starts. So a lot of you guys probably remember me playing We Happy Few way back when. It was just a dystopian survival horror type game, and they've come a long way. Uh, the adventure, it is a, it's a full-blown adventure now. Uh, I still can't say too much about it, but all I'm going to say is I hope you guys are ready, and I hope you have your joy, because we are going to be going on a journey together really soon.